Rule 34 gets a little bit wordy, and we need to laser focus on where inland and international are the same. So I'm just going to break it down for you on the board, and then we'll read in the book and kind of get a sense of where and how the international and inland sides are different. So if we look at rule 34, these are maneuvering and warning. See if we can do this. Man, you bring in warning signals. So what we have is we have one short, I'm altering course to starboard. So I'll pass port to port. Two shorts, alter course to port. Three short blasts, a stern propulsion. What does that mean? That means they're in reverse. Propulsion. And then at least five short and rapid blasts. That's the danger signal. I don't understand your intentions. This is the danger signal. Or you don't understand their intentions. And then a prolonged blast is nearing a bend. It's also leaving a berth. Berth meaning a dock. So to simplify everything, one short, alter course to starboard. Two short, alter course to port. Three sh shorts, operating a stern propulsion. I'm in reverse. At least five short and rapid blasts. Danger. I don't understand your intentions. Remember, this is not a distress signal. One prolonged blast, you're nearing a bend with an intervening obstruction that you cannot see around. So the differences that I mentioned between international and inland, international side, it's just action. I'm taking action. I'm altering my course to starboard. I'm altering my course to port. I'm operating a stern propulsion. On the inland side, when meeting head on, we show intentions. We say, one short, I intend to leave you on my port side, but it's still saying the same thing. Or when you're overtaking, you do one short alter course to starboard, but they like to say one short blast to mean, I intend to overtake you on your starboard side. But there's a place where the inland and international are the same, and it lies right here. At least five short and rapid blasts, danger. I don't understand your intentions. And one prolonged is nearing a bend with an obstruction that you cannot see around. And it's on page 101, it starts at the top with D. And this is the danger signal. And it says, when vessels in sight of one another are approaching each other and from any cause, either vessel fails to understand the intentions or actions of the other or is in doubt whether sufficient action is being taken by the other to avoid collision, the vessel in doubt shall immediately indicate such doubt by giving at least five short and rapid blasts in the whistle. Such, such signal may be supplemented by a light signal of at least five short and rapid flashes. A vessel nearing a bend or an area of a channel or fairway where other vessels may be obscured by an intervening obstruction shall sound one prolonged blast. This signal shall be answered with a prolonged blast by any approaching vessel that may be within hearing around the bend or behind the obstruction. If whistles are fitted on a vessel at a distance apart of more than 100 meters, only one whistle shall be used for giving the maneuvering and warning signals. When a power-driven vessel is leaving a dock or berth, she shall sound one prolonged blast. These, these vary considerably, but just remember, for our intents and purposes, one short, alter course to starboard. Two shorts, alter course to port. Three shorts to stern propulsion. At least five short and rapid blasts. Danger, I don't understand your intentions. One prolonged blast nearing a bend or leaving a berth. And then one last thing to remember is these may also be light signals or supplemented by light signals. So you could have one short flash, alter course to starboard, two short flash, alter course to port, three short flash, three short 
flashes operating a stern propulsion. And this may be in combination with a light signal as well. So you give at least five short and rapid blasts at the same time you do a light signal. Maneuvering and warning signals. Next, we're gonna get down into the meat of these sound signals. We're gonna talk about operating and restrictive visibility and what that sounds like. Onward.